Uh, we're going to get into it. We're going to start off with the blind rankings at oh, first. Um, got a little bit of theme here for the first two. Um, so for the first one, all of these also, they don't have five. There's six. You have six oh slots. Oh, my God. <laughs> six, six slots to work with. I don't know if it's going to make it easier or harder. <laughs> Probably harder. We're about, to, we're about to find out. I bet. Um, so for the first one. I need you to blind rank these NBA Finals runner-ups. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I like this, though. First one I got for you here, the 2022 Boston Celtics. Out of six? Out of six. The Celtics. I ain't going to lie, bro. They might be like four. Four? Okay. They might be like four, yeah. Let me let me make sure I'm writing this down. Okay, four. Next one I got for you here. Year specific, the 2018 Cleveland Cavaliers. That is the Braun and Kevin Love and Jr. and George Hill and Tristan Thompson team. They wasn't good though. Like Braun was elite, but they like as a team, like they got they got swept. They got swept. They got swept. Should shouldn't have. If J.R. Smith ain't know the, the score of the clock, or I mean, the, how much time was left, but yeah, they did get swept. I'm gonna put them five just because they got LeBron, and I think that's one of the best versions of LeBron. And I think there's they yeah. there probably be a team that's worse than them up there. That is fair. I, I like I like your how you're thinking. I don't know if it's right. I can't tell you if it's right, <laughs> but I I like that there's some logic going into this. Um, the next one I got for you here, one that's gonna be near and dear to your heart. The 2008 Los Angeles Lakers. And we lost to the Celtics. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is Kobe. That is Powell. That is young Trevor Reza, Shannon Brown, young Trust Andrew me, Bynum, Derek Fisher, Lamar. Trust me, I already know. You ain't got it. I knew everybody on that team. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> I got the names better that, than I my know brain. You know that. That's for the people. Make sure y'all got y'all got the context here for you. Right, right. Hop in the comments. And, oh my gosh, how did? Yeah, now right. You know. <laughs> now you know. Damn, my fandom is kind of getting to me, bro. <laughs> my fandom <laughs> is getting to me. I, I got four and I got five already. Mm-hmm. I I go. Ah, damn, I go two. Oh, two? I okay. go two. Yeah, I go two. Okay. My fandom was getting to me. Next one I got for you here. The 2001 Philadelphia 76ers. Six. I go six. six. Yeah, I'm nice because, listen, that, they basically the same as, like, the 2018 Cavs with a worst best player. Hey, like I said, the logic, I'm seeing it. The logic is there. The it's here. Is you, you just might, you might mess me up with these last two. Though. I'm just scared about that. Next one we got here. The first year of the Heatles, the 2011 Miami Heat. Number one, big Number dirt one. takes them down. <laughs> that's a, that's a good one to put up there, though. I see that's a good one. I'm putting them one though. I'm putting okay. them one because they should have won that if Brian wasn't terrible. So this final team is going to slot into your three spot, and that oh. is oh my god, the 2019 Golden State Warriors. I had a feeling they was going to be up here, bro. Because if they healthy, they would have won, and that was number one. But, but it's a lot of injury. Uh, dang, you but, hey, you make the case. What I what I because I only got three left. I only got the three spot. What I will say is, technically, that team is no Clay, no no KD. So if it's just Steph, I mean, e- honestly, hold on. Even if it's even if it's Steph and like half of Clay because he plays some games, mm-hmm. that's still the three spot because they better than the twenty eighteen uh, Cavs. They're better than the 76ers. I'm taking the Lakers over them. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. We good. We up. Okay. We, I'm okay. that one. We up. 